After a month in Rwanda, God has used us in so many ways. We are able to spend time with a survivor from the Rwandan genocide who lost her entire family. During the genocide, she was raped, later conceiving the child from the rape. Wanting to have her husband to help support her, she married. Suddenly, her new husband gave her the HIV virus and another child before leaving. Florence again remarried, and sadly, he too left her when she was pregnant. Florence was near death with HIV, which had developed into AIDS. It was at this point that God brought APRICOM, the AIDS Prevention and Restorative Care Department of Youth of Mission, Rwanda, to her side. Incredibly, she became a believer and recovered from being paralyzed from the waist down with the virus, and in her words, looking 150 years old, to being the joyful, smiling woman who embraced us all so tightly when we first met. Many others like Florence are supported by the APRICOM ministry. They help her and others to sell their arts and crafts, as well as sponsoring the children through education, providing food, providing medical insurance and counselling. Working with Apocom, we documented Florence's story and assisted their ministry by using our cameras and editing skills. We aim to multiply their ministry for a website, apocom.org, where others can see Florence's story, as well as the arts and crafts made by her and her friends. The hope was if others can see the arts and crafts, there will be a greater demand for the products and hopefully a greater income from them and their families. We also aim to champion Apricom's ministry so they can support more families in the future. Now in Uganda, we have been supporting the work of a HIV clinic in rural villages around the Jinja area. They are doing incredible but tiring work in counselling, treatment and prevention of HIV. Until not very long ago, one in three Ugandan men were believed to be HIV positive. Because of the stigma and superstition surrounding the disease, still many refuse to be tested. Some believe it is caught by touch, others that it is a curse, 